Did you know that the Google search volume for azelaic acid has increased 500% in the last five years? And the reason for it is obvious. It is becoming more available and it is clearly one of the most versatile skincare ingredients that we have. Melasma, other forms of hyperpigmentation, congestion, redness, all of these things can be helped by azelaic acid, but perhaps the condition most associated with azelaic acid benefits is acne. And I think it's particularly wonderful for those of us who are past our teens and skin is behaving a bit more sensitively, perhaps you're aware of your barrier just not being quite as robust as it used to be. This is where azelaic acid, for me, really shines. Now, you might be surprised to know that azelaic acid has five different ways of benefiting your acne. I'm going to share those all with you today. Now make sure you watch right to the end because each and every one of them is important. Now for those of you who are wondering what the heck azelaic acid is, let me share. It's something called a dicarboxylic acid and what's interesting about it is it is a naturally derived. We get it from grains like barley and rye and it's actually produced by a yeast that lives on our skin. So it's part and parcel of our skin's natural everyday function. And I think that's why it has potential for so much impact on our skin's function. So it's with good reason that I call it my acid with extra. And when it comes to acne, it acts on three of the four critical pathways between the beginning and end of getting a breakout. So let's break it down and see what it does. Now, perhaps the most important function Azalec has in acne is to unclog your pores. Now, why is that important? Well, if you look right down into the pore, which is the opening of the sebaceous gland onto the surface of your skin, it's lined by skin cells, just like the surface of our skin. Now on the surface, we're losing skin cells all the time. We are unaware of it, it's happening so imperceptibly. Not so in the acne prone pore. What is happening is those skin cells, instead of exfoliating smoothly away, they are charged and they are attracted to each other. And that forms what we call comedones, or if they're really small, micro comedones. And what that means is the pore gets blocked off. Now, underneath, all the oil is pooling and ca collecting. What that means is the acne-causing bacteria can have a party. It's like a lock-in situation. So by normalizing that process, the oil can flow freely to the surface of the skin and the bacteria don't get to have fun. So not only does that cause fewer breakouts in the future, it also helps get rid of some of those pesky little dots in your T-zone, so makes your skin look better from that point of view as well. So breakout and congestion prevention, it's a massive win for your skin. Now, when it comes to those blocked off pores, you can't have a party without the bacteria. The good news is azelaic acid is antibacterial too. And this is wonderful because it's an antibiotic free way of reducing the amount of the acne causing bacteria on your skin. Another win. Now what we know is once the pores are blocked off and the oil starts to collect, the bacteria feed on the collected oil, they create inflammation, that's when it manifests on the surface of your skin as a red bump, a papule or one with a white top, a pustule, inflammatory lesions that are the hallmark of active acne. Well, the good news is azelaic acid helps calm the inflammation in those active blemishes. So it's actually treating the spots that you have in the here and now. What's fantastic about azelaic acid is not only does it help with your active breakouts, it also helps with what I call the tidy up phase. So those footprints, the dark marks that tell you where you've had blemishes in the past, azelaic acid helps with those too. So what it does is it blocks the enzyme tyrosinase, which helps block the production of melanin, reducing the appearance of pigmentation. And what we know is that those dark marks are almost as annoying to acne sufferers, the blemishes themselves, and they will particularly tend to linger in those with darker skin tones and those with more inflammatory blemishes. So that combination of anti-inflammatory and pigmentation clearing benefits really makes azelaic acid come into its own as an acne treatment. Now, one of the biggest challenges for acne sufferers is if you have sensitive skin, 
And given that as many as 60% of us have sensitive skin, this is actually a really common situation. Now, azelaic acid really comes into its own in this situation, especially if you have other skin concerns. So if you have acne and rosacea or acne and seborrheic dermatitis, I find that azelaic acid really is an ingredient that shines in this setting. There aren't many ingredients that can straddle more than one inflammatory skin condition, but azelaic acid does this really well. So you'll have gathered that I'm a little bit passionate about azelaic acid for acne. It really is one of my all-time favorite ingredients for treating this pesky and persistent condition, especially in situations where there's overlap with other issues like melasma and rosacea. Now, there is a reason why I've made it the cornerstone of the Flawless Serums, and that is because it's so well tolerated with so many benefits. So if you've got acne and haven't tried it yet, I'd encourage you to have a go. I hope you're enjoying this azelaic acid deep dive, guys. If you are, please do check out my video on the four caveats to watch out for when starting azelaic acid, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.